All right. I got a question for you. How much do you control your outcomes in life? And I've been thinking a lot about a question over the last couple of days. Been reading, talking with my interns, some of my staff, been thinking a lot about this question is what percent of your outcomes in life came from your efforts and what percent came from your environment or the resources that you have? Why is this an important question? Well, it's an important question because first of all, from my youth, I was told that you know results that I got came from my effort. And if I failed, my fault. And if I succeeded, my fault. So if that's true, then it makes sense in my worldview that it is up to me. If it's to be, it's up to me. But if that's not true, then that causes a problem. And the problem it causes is that it doesn't fit the narrative that I was brought up with. Now, this is an important question. Now, you may think, well, it's, it's an important question given what's going on in America these days uh, with, with all of the, the protests and everything. And part of that protest is the idea of what, what amount of the result or what amount of the outcomes in your life is due to the circumstances versus due to your efforts. And, you know, it's a fair question. In fact, it was asked of me and, and kind of answered by my former teacher, Dr. W. Edwards Deming. And Dr. Deming thought a lot about this concept. And he really, uh, you know, turned my thinking upside down a bit. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've prepared a little presentation I'm going to make for you right now. So let me share my screen and then uh, I'll talk a little bit about it. Hold on. All right. So my question for you is how much did you influence your results? Well, let's look at this concept here. Like if it's meant to be, it's up to me. That's the type of thing. This is coming from Tom Dreesen and Lewis House posted that. that that's exactly the way I was brought up. Or holding your team accountable isn't an exercise in control. It's an exercise in empowerment. So accountability, this word that you are accountable for your actions. Accept responsibility for your actions. Be accountable for your results. Take ownership of your mistakes. This is from lightboxleadership.com. And basically the question is, is this the way you were brought up? It's kind of the way I was brought up that this makes sense. Another thing you could say is blaming puts other people in charge of your happiness. Accepting responsibility empowers you to create your own. How about this one? Everything in your life is a reflection of a choice you have made. If you want a different result, make a different choice. Does that make sense to you? That makes sense to me. That's what I was brought up with. But is it right? Is it true? It feels good. So, to think about this, I asked a question, a question on Twitter. I said questions, but I really mean a question on Twitter. And the question is, what percent of your outcomes in life came from your efforts? And what percent from your environment and resources? So I gave three choices. You could either pick, I figured, you know, it would be a little bit silly to say 0% effort. And it would be a little bit silly to say 100% effort. And I wanted to limit the choices. So I said 25% effort, 50% effort, or 75% effort. So take a minute and think about what would be your answer to this question. All right, you got your answer? All right. So here's the Twitter post that I did asking that exact same question. And uh, since it's uh, 7 a.m. or 7.15 here in Bangkok, uh, when I took a picture of this a couple of hours ago, it was a dark mode, so it's black background. And here's the first answer that I got. Somebody said 25% effort. That's 23% of people said 25% effort. 75% is the environment and the resources that you have. Hmm, interesting. All right, next one. The next answer is 
43% of people said, hey, it's 50-50. So here you see 40 plus 20, 43 plus 23, 66% of people said that it's 50% or less effort. Hmm. And then 34% of people said it's 75% effort, 25% environment and resources. So what was your answer? Which one did you go with? Well, this is an important question to ask, and that's the reason why I'm asking it. Why is it important? Because truthfully, there's many things that can impact our final results in work, in life. And I'd like to summarize them in my own way of thinking here. And that is individual effort, environment and resources, other factors, and luck. So let's look at the formula that I came up with. The formula is individual uh, effort. The environment is E. The L is luck. And then the, the, uh, the epsilon, the E in the Greek uh, alphabet, is what I'll call all other factors that are really unknown. So we can kind of simplify this into individual effort plus other factors. So my question to you is, how do we know? Well, we're taught that individual efforts are the key, but is it true? What do you think? Is it true? I'm not sure. What Dr. Deming taught me, and something that I thought a lot about when he was teaching, is that in fact, much of the output of a business is not determined by individual efforts. It's determined by the system within which the employees are working. Hmm. Okay. So that would mean that a good employee in a bad environment would do poorly or do worse than if that same employee was in a good environment. Or think of it another way. What about a bad employee in a good environment? They could do good. It's possible. So I'm going to stop sharing this and come back to the video. So just give me a second here. All right. So Frankie says 50-50. Frankie, you know, who just answered this on Facebook. But I, I'm curious, you know, what is your, your answer? I'm going to just type that in there. You know, <clears throat> it's something that we have to think about in, in depth. Why is it important relative to business? The reason why it's important relative to business, in my opinion, is that if you look at things like KPIs and the way that we manage businesses, what we're telling people is that the output of your business is a result of your actions, your individual actions. It's not a result of the system. If you walked into your business today and you said, all right, I don't care about your individual actions anymore. The results of this business is really driven by the system that we have. How would people respond? What about if we went to children and we said, okay, I don't care about your individual actions as much anymore because your results are really going to be dictated by the environment that you're in at your school. How would that work? Well, you see, when you start asking this question, it starts raising a lot of other questions. And so I just thought that I would spark a little thought and debate on this topic. I'm not here to tell you the answer, but I am here to tell you that there is a, a formula and that formula says your results is a function of your individual effort and some other factors that are really unknown, unmeasurable, difficult to see. And it will be impossible for us to ever really understand that breakdown. And also the thing is I'm trying to say is that it's, it's impossible that we want to go to people and say, you don't have any control over the outcome because why would anybody work or do anything? If my parents told me that when I was young, I wouldn't have done much. So it's a lot of interesting things to, 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 to think about, but I'll leave you with one last point. When it comes to management in a company, ultimately what Dr. Deming taught me was the idea that the ultimate measure of what a system can produce, what a business can produce, is the quality of the system with which in, within which the employees work. And it's the job of management not to spend your time focusing on employee performance as much as how do we improve this system? And this is the concept of 
uh, continual improvement. And I'd use a great example is Toyota, which won the Deming Prize in 1965 and recently one of the divisions of to Toyota won the Deming Prize in 2018. And the point that I would say about what Toyota has done is that they have continually improved the system. So that's my thoughts for today. I hope that they provide some uh, something for you to think about and debate about. Have a great Friday.